developers of a proposed casino on the east side are hoping to gain support by sweetening the deal with affordable housing. All right, but as Fox 5, Sharon Crowley shows us, members of the public have a lot of concerns and had their chance to voice them tonight at a town hall. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. There should not be a casino in a residential area. What is it going to do to the FDR? Midtown East residents objecting to a proposal that would bring a casino to their neighborhood. They made their feelings known to elected officials and casino developers during a community meeting. The traffic value would just be terrible. The Salovea Group, who is in partnership with Mohegan Sun in Connecticut, wants to build a gaming complex on land they own that stretches from East 38th to East 41st Streets between 1st Avenue and the FDR Drive near the United Nations. During a slideshow presentation, developers explained how they would build the casino underground with an entrance into it from the FDR. The space above ground would be used for green public space. The casino proposal that they have not only includes a casino, but it also includes affordable housing, it includes a museum, and they have also other provisions, including open space. The sales pitch was not working on this crowd. What do you think about a casino in the... It's a horrible idea. How come? It's going to change the whole way we live our life. We have young children, um, our schools, and it's just not what, you know, the mood that we want in our neighborhood. Competition to build casinos intensified when the state announced that three new licenses would be given to New York City or the suburbs. Other potential locations include Times Square, the Hudson Yards, Yonkers, and Queens. It's really important to understand that this is still really in early stages. The Gaming Commission has not approved anyone for a casino license yet. Once that happens, after several months, it could take years before a casino begins to be built here in Manhattan or anywhere else. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News. Well, my